wake up! The sun's frying your butt! Are you okay? Can you hear me? I didn't hear a peep from your room, and it really freaked me out. You're not dreaming. We're in the Reverie Hotel. In the real world. The Order's dream is over. <sighs> Even though it's been a day, I still break into a sweat when I think about it. Our trailblazing expedition almost ended in Panacone. I'm so jealous that you got a good night's sleep. I was... traumatized and too scared to even close my eyes. I thought if I fell asleep, I'd never wake up again. The Stellaron was sealed while you were sleeping. The ordinary people in Panacone have no idea what happened. They just feel like something's missing from their memories. The family's official statement was like, The Charmony Festival was attacked by an unidentified Stellaron and came to a halt. After all, they can't just reveal the truth about the Order. Now, all the major lineages, except for the Oak family, are dealing with the aftermath. The family has invited the crew to the Radiant Feldspar as witnesses for an important meeting. Everyone's waiting for you, so hurry up and pack. We're leaving as soon as you're ready. <sighs> After all this craziness, nothing is better than staying safe in reality. It's a massive airship, and it's awesome! I heard it's never shown to the public. Only VIP guests of the family get to board it and enjoy the breathtaking views of Panacone. The Iris family sent us a bunch of souvenirs. Fruit baskets, plus this fancy button model. After you're back on your feet, you can enjoy them all. We are pretty much celebrities on the planet of festivities now, aren't we? The Stellaron was sealed while you were sleeping. The ordinary people in Panacone have no idea what happened. They just feel like something's missing from their memories. The family's official statement was like, The Charmony Festival was attacked by an unidentified Stellaron and came to a halt. After all, they can't just reveal the truth about the Order. Now, all the major lineages, except for the Oak family, are dealing with the aftermath. The family has invited the crew to the Radiant Feldspar as witnesses for an important meeting. Why the sudden interest in that? Well, I was dragged into the sweet dream. I felt a cold tentacle diving into my memories. But... Something else was there. So the tentacle suddenly disappeared. And then... I dreamed about stuffing my face with delicious food and going on a shopping spree. Sunday didn't seriously believe that was the life I wanted, right? Ugh, breaking free from that cheesy illusion was just a piece of cake. Yeah, let's go! We've got some time before we board the ship, so let's catch up with everyone at Dream Jolt Hostelry. How extravagant. Just like Epsilon. How was it? Did it live up to your dreamscape expectations? You already asked that when we first got here. Yeah, and you said no back then. But after all this madness, I'd say you've grown fond of it. Oh, just a heads up, you're still on the Bloodhound family's wanted list, so keep a low profile.
And this time, it's Firefly in the picture, not Sam. That's got to be a whole new experience for you, right? Indeed. In Kafka's words, that's also a missing part of my life. Still, it'd be quite inconvenient if I can't move freely. Could you help me out, Silverwolf? I knew you'd say that. Don't worry. I've hacked all the systems and left no trace. Don't do anything that may draw attention, and don't talk with guards. They might recognize you. Keep these two points in mind, and you can go wherever you want, unbothered. <laughs> Thank you. No problem, Miss Samuel. <laughs> I love this fake name. Now that we're done here in Penacony, what will you do in your free time? I hear the Genius Society is here. How about we go stir up some excitement? Well, you know my script isn't over yet. I didn't bring you back to hear an answer like that. Don't worry. The script says that I'll experience three deaths, but also receive an unforgettable reward on the planet of festivities. How will I know if I don't try? All possibilities exist until the outcome actually happens. Right? You may not realize it, but you have a bad habit. Whenever you seem to be asking a question, you've already made up your mind, and no words will dissuade you. Anyway, Kafka asked me to pass on this message. If you see anything fabulous in Penacony, get one for me too. Just swipe my card, you know the pin. <laughs> she didn't specify anything, but I guess she means a dress, coat, sunglasses, or something else. You know better about fashion than I do. Sure, I'll keep an eye out. There's tons of options at OT Mall. <gasps> Do you think she'll like trinkets, like, uh, hair accessories or brooches? Those sound more like something for young girls. Maybe you should keep them for yourself. Oh, by the way, Blade didn't explicitly say it, but I think he was trying to say something like, Temptation will show up again in Panacone. He's always so subtle with his words. Got it. He was just worried about me. Relax, Silverwolf. You know me. I won't do anything crazy. I just want to wander around and see more of the world for myself. <gasps> I want to buy some oat cake rolls. I've had a cake roll every day since I arrived in Penacony, from the first day to the last. But today, I'll buy two and give you one. And if you don't like them, I'll enjoy double the pleasure. Or I can bring one to Kafka, as she never refuses. Or maybe I'll give it to Blade. He'll appreciate it. That's not written in the script, right? But as you see, I have added new footnotes to my destiny.